problem is, find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of the function f of x equal to square root of x plus one at the point x zero equal to three. Once you have that line, use it to approximate square root of 4.2. First thing we're gonna need is the equation of a line. So that's gonna be y minus y zero equals m x minus x zero, where x zero, y zero is a point, and m is a slope. Okay, our point is gonna be given by taking three and putting it into our function to get a point on the graph. So it's gonna be three comma square root of three plus one, which is three comma two. Our slope, how do we get that? Our procedure for getting the slope for the tangent line, is gonna be, we're gonna take the secant lines that go through our point three comma two, and another point on the graph, say at x, so it's gonna be x comma square root of x plus one, then we're gonna take the limit as x gets driven down to three on the slope function. All right, so that's our picture. So let's take a look at um, the mechanics. So I wanna take this limit. So what are we taking the limit of? We're gonna take the slope, which is gonna be given by the rise over the run. Okay, the rise is gonna be given by the difference in the values of the function and the difference of the y's. So it's gonna be square root of x plus one minus two. Our run is gonna be the change in x. So that's just gonna be x minus three. So we have this gadget here. Now, I wanna take the limit of that as x goes down to three. If we put three into those top and bottom, we're gonna get a zero over zero, so we have an indeterminate form, which means we need to do more work. Now, if we look at this, it's not clear how to get that x minus three in the bottom to disappear. So we only have one trick at our disposal here, which is gonna be a difference of two squares. So I wanna multiply the top by square root of x plus one plus two, but since I need to counter that, we're gonna multiply by that term over itself. Once I do that, what are we gonna be left with? The top is gonna to rationalize out to x minus three, so the x minus threes are gonna go away, and then we're just gonna be left with a one over radical x plus one plus two in the bottom. Now if I put three into that, I'm gonna get one over four, that's a perfectly good number, so that's gonna be my limit, and that's gonna be the slope of our tangent line. So now all I need to do is take our slope, take our point, stick them into the equation of the line, and then that's gonna be what we're looking for. So I'm gonna wind up with y minus two equals one fourth x minus three, and then I could push the two to the other side to get something that we can work with. So that's my tangent line. Now, I want to approximate 4.2. I had to figure out how to write that as a function of, on top of three and using our square root of x plus one. So what we're doing here is we're gonna take square root of one plus x. Well, what would be our x if we wanna use 4.2? We have to put in 3.2. So I'll put 3.2 into my tangent line. That's gonna give me y equal to two plus one fourth 3.2 minus three, or two plus one fourth times 0.2, and that's gonna give me 2.05. All right, I can go to my calculator to check by taking a look at the actual value. So when I do that, I'm looking at square root of 4.2, and that's gonna give me our number here, which we can see is very close to our 2.05 as promised. So that tells me I've probably worked out my problem correctly. As noted before, it'll be better if we have a limit with h going down to zero instead of our x going down to three. So what I'll want is, instead of x going to three, I'm gonna want three plus h going down to three as h goes to zero. How does that change things? The picture doesn't change at all, except now instead of where I had x, I'm gonna put a three plus h, and where I had our function, radical x plus one, we're gonna put three plus h in for x, which is gonna give me radical four plus h. So now delta y and delta x are gonna change. Delta x is easy, that's just gonna be h, and then our delta y is just gonna be radical four plus h minus two. So that's our new gadget for slope of the secant line. We take the limit of this to get the slope of the tangent line. 
what happens? Well, we try putting our point zero in, and then we're gonna wind up with zero over zero. So we have an indeterminate form, which means I need to do more work. To get rid of that h in the bottom, my only trick is the same as before. We're using a difference of two squares. So we multiply top and bottom by square root of four plus h plus two, and then see where that gets us. Okay, top term is gonna turn into h, so the h's cancel out, leaving me with one over radical four plus h plus two. We put zero in there, and then that's gonna leave me with a one fourth. That's a perfectly good number, so that's our slope. Note also that it agrees with our slope obtained by the other method, so we know that we've probably done this correctly.